if I don't have enough money in my bank account, I'm fearful I can't pay my bills. Well, if we say, why are you fearful you can't pay your bills? Well, because then I'll get evicted. And what if you get evicted? Then I'll be homeless on the street. And what if you're homeless on the street? Then I'm unsafe. Well, what if you're unsafe? Then I could get killed. Well, welcome back to One's Journey of Unwinding the Mind and, of course, your daily microdose. Now, tune in to the latest episode of One's Journey. Today, I want to bring in just something a little interesting. The other day, I was having a conversation with another Patreon member, and we were talking about, like, the stages in birth and death, and not necessarily the stages within, in between them, but the stages of understanding the cycle of birth and death, and how really the whole untying of the ego is debunking birth and death, debunking the fact that it does not exist. And the whole way the ego keeps us stuck is this belief in the cycle of birth and death. Right From the second we're born, we're worried about the day we die, whether it's consciously or subconsciously. Every single fear you have in life is truly the fear of death, if you break it down enough. Like, example, if I don't have enough money in my bank account, I'm fearful I can't pay my bills. Well, if we say, why are you fearful you can't pay your bills? Well, because then I'll get evicted. And what if you get evicted? Then I'll be homeless on the street. And what if you're homeless on the street? Then I'm unsafe. Well, what if you're unsafe? Then I could get killed. Boom. Death. Literally, I encourage you, this is a side note, to take a fear you have or have had in the past and go deep, go all the way till it ends at death because I promise you eventually it will. That will be the root cause. So there's this journey we take in untying of the ego through understanding the cycle of birth and death. So we start out at the very early stage that... the way this person described it was we understood it, meaning we literally stood under birth and death. This would be when you're sleeping. This is when you are just living and you are under the umbrella of the ego of birth and death. You don't know how to manipulate the ego. You don't know how to manipulate your cycle of birth and death. You're under it. So you're really fully a puppet being puppet mastered by the ego. Then the second stage, we called it inner stand, or she called it inner stand. And this is really the new age movement. This is the movement of the um, law of attraction and manifesting and energy and all the new age movement because this is inner standing. So this is when you you really inner stand the cycle of birth and death. You're standing in it because you are starting to see that though you're still being mastered by a puppet master, that you can kind of cut some of your strings and go your own way and kind of create what you believe and you can make it a higher conscious. You're more aware of the puppet master, let's say. This would be higher consciousness, new age. That is when you are seeking a higher level of consciousness, you still believe in the cycle of birth and death. It may even look different, that reincarnation, remembering past lives, all these different things, but you are still within the cycle of birth and death. You're just more in it. Then we have overstand. That's when you are standing over the cycle of birth and death. And that is when you have realized That in fact, there is no puppet master. You are the dreamer and the dream. And birth and death is just a part of your dream. So it doesn't really exist. You are no longer a part of the puppet master's mastering, but realizing you are all. Interesting, huh? Because the true thing we're doing here with untying the ego is we are breaking the cycle of birth and death. So, of course, because we're in the illusion, there is a ladder or a hierarchy. Uh, There's steps that we tend to go through. And maybe some people are born at the top step. Maybe some people are born in the middle step. Maybe some people are born in the first step. None is more valuable than the other when it comes to the Holy Spirit and being the dreamer of the dream. And you don't necessarily have to go through all stages. And maybe you go into one stage and back to another stage and back again. 
doesn't matter. But this was our understanding of kind of moving through the cycle of birth and death. None is bad. None is good. Just depends what journey you're on in this lifetime, where you want to be and where you see yourself at. So I encourage you to take this, these different kind of definitions or understandings of the trajectory and think, where are you? Where have you been? Remind yourself when you're in it, when you're in it and say you're attempting to achieve higher level consciousness, am I using this for understanding or am I using this for overstanding or understanding? How do I plan to use this? Because we do know as well that everything in with the illusion that can be used for the benefit of the ego, the Holy Spirit can also use it as a reflection of God. So obtaining higher level consciousness can be part of your ladder to understanding truth and that consciousness is still a part of the illusion. doesn't matter. I just thought this video would be a fun share because we had a wonderful time conversing about this and just how that visual of understand is when you're sleeping, understand is higher level consciousness, new age movement, and overstand is realizing you are the dream and the dreamer. Think of the puppet master. The ego is the puppet master. Think of all of those when you are walking through this journey and get a better understanding of where you're at. Because as I always tell you, we can't change something we're not aware of. So awareness is key here. And I hope this brought you another level of awareness. Please share what your thoughts are. I would love to have a deeper conversation with you about, is there some in-between stages that you have experienced? Have you experienced any of the stages and how did it feel versus the other? Whatever, share, share, share. And please also share any ideas you have for upcoming episodes. Remember the right-minded thinker, you, we have a live discussion once a month. We would love to have you a part of there that it just is real and raw and hard questions. Sometimes we don't know how to answer, but we get to grapple on it together, get curious together, bring awareness and walk with one another on the journey back home. As always, until next time, remember you are worth it. Much love. Bye.